Hello fans, thank you for coming here to learn this tutorial so that you can comment on the Grand Staircase Escalante National Monument um, comment period process. So it's really quite simple to do. First off, the easiest way to get to all the paperwork you need is to go to Garfield County uh, at their website garfield.utah.gov. When you get there, on their home page, right in a big yellow banner across the top, you will see county presentation explaining the alternatives in the proposed GSEM ENM RMP. It's a lot of letters. And then uh, you'll have a comment on the proposed GSENM resource management plan. So open up the uh, open up the county map and it'll kind of give you the background, some points of interest, some things that you can talk about. It kind of explains what the alternatives are what the main issues in each category is. So they start with grazing and then the second one is transportation. These in in our world are the two most important ones uh, to consider and be engaged in. And as you see each one gets a little bit more restrictive as you go from alternative A which is basically the status quo, what's happening right now, to D which is just all heck breaks loose. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to look at the maps and uh, I am going to actually add a couple of comments. So I'm checking the maps to see where stuff is and where it is that I like to write. So I'm going to start for, for purposes of this with uh, two comments about different places that I ride and, and that my family has ridden and that we've made a tradition of. And so uh, once I've got that figured out I have to keep in mind I am not talking about them closing roads because this is not an official closing of roads. This is setting zones and it's saying that when we make a travel management plan these areas roads will be closed but if you tell them I don't want you to close this road then they say well we're not closing any roads they may disqualify the comment. So make sure that you're very clear saying the zoning on this particular alternative will prohibit me from using the land the way that I want to. Does that make sense? All right. <clears throat> With that being said, um, I've looked at the maps and now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click on the other tab that's up here on the county and that is comment and it is going to take me to, there we go, e-planning and on this screen you'll see a participate now. This is Grand Staircase, so it's already titled, you know you're on the right one. And you hit participate now. And you click on this and it gives you a box. Please put in at least your name and your city. Uh, I know you may not want them to know who you are, but it's really important for the record that they know that you are a Utah citizen and that you actually have a connection to the land. So I'm going to put in Chad Booth. And then I live in Holiday, Utah. Okay. And then I'm going to make a comment. I support and encourage this use of alternative A as it gives the most flexibility in planning future transportation options. critical in selecting this plan, this alternative rather, as the routes that I have a history with and a heritage 
with will not be allowed under the other alternatives. So, there I have given my reasoning behind my selection of, of alternative A, why I believe that they should select that one and why that one's important to me, and now I can give them some substantive information. Okay, and I will start. Okay, <clears throat> so you sit, you write, fill in the comment, you can go as long as you want, and this is what I basically put down. I'm Chad Bootham from Holiday, Utah. I support and encourage the use of Alternative A as it gives the most flexibility in planning future transportation options. It is critical in selecting this alternative as the routes that I have a history with and a heritage with will not be allowed under the other alternatives. Since the time I was first married, we have made trips through the Grand Staircase even before it became a monument. We made an annual visit to Smoky Mountain, climbed the Kelly Grade, and made our way down Left Hand Collet before it was barely passable to camp at Hole in the Rock. My oldest daughter made that pilgrimage before she was actually born, as my wife was expecting at the time. As a child, we reminded her every year when we'd wander through that country that she had been there X number of times plus one. She still uses that phrase from time to time. It appears that some of the side routes that we would take will be zoned to be closed, even with alternative B. I am but one family out of hundreds, if not thousands, who are connected to this land through our family traditions and our heritage. Some of my ancestors, while not original settlers, were involved in the early ranching history of the area. If the monument is trying to protect cultural objects, those routes that we have traveled are a cultural object that has as much meaning to my history as a Native American would have a connection to the land. Please consider this is not just the ancient ones that have a real and justified connection to the land of the Grand Staircase. There you go. Statement. You can make it from your own heart. You can say what it is that you want to say, but at least it gives you, um, it gives them some substantial and substantive comment on why this is important for them to consider what you are presenting. And you know, they have to consider each thought that's an original thought. They can't just blow it off and say, oh, they, we don't care about that. They are supposed to say, okay, we need to consider this. And you may just be able to be the one that says the right thing that will make them add it to um, the list of things that they have to consider and they might change what their ultimate outcome is. Okay, so that's how you, this is how you go about writing a comment directly. If you want to write it in another document, say like Word or something, then you can uh, just come over here and pull up a file. And I wrote one out called BLM written comment, and all you have to do is drag and drop, and you can upload that file right here. And then it says, okay, close. That was it. That took me maybe 20 minutes to write the comment that I uploaded and to write the comment that I put on. I'll probably go back and do a couple more, but that's how you do it. It's just that simple. Don't be afraid of it. And don't be afraid that you have to know extensive, detailed information about the monument. If you've been out there, you recreate there, you have a history there, that is what you need to know. And how that relates to your life and your culture and your history and your heritage, that's what they're looking for. Thanks. Good luck to you. And please, we got 694 comments on there so far. Let's make it two or 3,000. Share this with your friends. Get them on the bus. If you're in a club, get the whole club to sit down tonight and do this. Chad Booth out. Thanks.